Okay. Um, well, I'm asking for um, heart uh, clearing, like heartbreak from past relationships um, through all of my timelines, um, whether it be for family um, or relationships, as well as um, starvation. Um, I've I've seen that I have uh, starved to death in a past couple of timelines, and I'm asking for clearing of that as well, please. Do, do you know what your card is? freedom and that, bas <laughs> that basically means surrender friends that don't resonate with you <laughs> exactly that's and that's, yeah yeah that's what i'm working on so ask i need the, a little it, bit of a... It, it also means ask the angels yeah yes to release and, them. yeah and i've been calling them in there's archangel michael right there up in the corner of my room yeah with the violet you, you, flame. You've got, you've got the keys to do all that, by the way, but let, let's, let's give you a bit of energy to try and help you. Thank you so much, yeah. Philip. And yeah. the starvation is so important. I need to take off like 30 pounds so I can move again. Oh, you want me to? <laughs> I can't do it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping you could. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can, you can, you can picture that lifetime in your hand and then blow it away yourself okay put it in your hand i have it in my thank right you now. for the experience thank you so much for that experience and then when you're ready blow it away all this is in your power everybody has that power yeah you've got the keys to do it all it's mm. gone it's gone everyone can do this that was a tough one because i was very very young and depended on family and loved ones that weren't there for me. Actually, one they were murdered or killed or something, and I was alone. But when you become an adult, this is also the time that you can go back on that and realize that you weren't responsible. So, but you still have to, you know, let let it go. You, you don't have to carry this anymore. That burden's not yours any longer. So right. It was just an experience. I guess that's another reason why I get so triggered when I see some commercials. I very rarely watch TV, but when I see commercials with these little children starving, I just, I break down. It just destroys me. It, them triggers are there to trigger you. To remind so, so me. So you, you've got to try and release what, why, why they're triggering you. I've, I've got uh, someone, I've got someone that triggers me and I, I just now realize he's there just to trigger me and I'm okay it's with it. Right, right. Yeah. Well, now that you've said that, yeah, I'm already feeling that shift within me taking place of the understanding. Yeah. So I don't own it. You, you will own that advert. If you if you look away from it and you don't own it, then it won't affect you. Yeah. I I saw I saw some oh, some information. If you're empty inside, but spiritually full, nothing will ever affect you. And if they don't affect you, you won't attract, you're attracting your negativity. That, that's a negativity and it affects you. So you, the universe is sending it you. But if it never affects you, you won't get it sent. You won't see it. Yeah. It's very complex. Yeah. Okay. And here I thought the opposite, where when it's showing that it's something that needs to be healed and released. Yeah. So I guess that's, that, that's my dual personality being a Gemini I see yeah. everything you know it, in it, different it, dimensions it, it can be that but if you if it didn't affect you you won't be being given it exactly it's like all these people that post on Facebook about cancer and, and, and it, all, it affects your life it affects everyone's life at one point and all these big paragraphs I never pay attention to that I never right. post things like that because you're giving all the attention to cancer you're putting it's, it in what, what you're doing is you're creating a fear agenda with the cancer. It's becoming fear-orientated. 
and that I fear orientated will make people who've got right, it worse. You're bringing attention yeah. to cancer, and you're and you're continuing the attention of cancer. And you're of course. It's like you're putting it out there. Hi, cancer. I love you. <laughs> exactly. Love you know, don't, gotcha. don't continue this stuff. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't send anything or post anything I'm on my Facebook page. I did something for my niece, my great niece who died of cancer. There was a, a run and I went to that because my, my sister needed my support. It's her only granddaughter who she lost. So I do that for her and I go with her to these things because I live close now to them. Right. So, that's the only reason why I go. And I, you know, it's my sister and it's her granddaughter that she lost. So I will do that for her and my nephew. But I don't, do not support anything to do with the Cancer Society and their corruption. I no. agree. Yeah. Yeah. The other yeah. thing, I, the other thing, the only thing I'd advise if anyone ever finds out the other, don't make an instant decision. Do a bit of right. research. Everyone gets told what they should do. Why don't you? thinking research yes there are cures out there outside of the hospital we all know that yes yeah, but you can't tell them any <laughs> uh, it has got to be edited or else it's gonna <laughs> no no I, we, I'm, I'm, I think we're okay at the moment we're not advising I'm just I, we've only said research research your options yeah all right past five minutes we're going to give you a really strong heart bump of energy. You know what? I've been told sometimes it's good to do uh, do a bit of meditation, but do med breath work. Breathe as much as you can down into your heart chakra. Yeah? And hold it. Hold it there. You can do it now, actually. Hold it there. Hold it, hold it as long as you can. And when you're breathing out, breathing all any problems you had, any grief and all that stuff. Everybody should do it. Let's, shall we all do it then? You can do one more if you want. The, the old group. So breathe in. And when you when you ex exhale, think of any negativity you've got that's grief that's upsetting you. And let it out. Make a noise. It's always good to make that noise. We could scream if you want. No. <laughs> Not in your ear. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel very open. Yeah. I feel um, like a waterfall of a divine energy flowing through my heart now. Mm -hmm. I feel calmer. I don't feel the anxiety. And of course, my head feels like it's in a fishbowl, like I'm swimming with a lot of energy coming through. And I'm just now grounding that into the core of Mother Earth. Releasing, releasing. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. If you ever have a problem again, just do some breath work with meditation. Okay. Art chakra meditation, about 500 hertz. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank so you. much love to everyone. Have a beautiful and amazing day. Thank you. Linda. Linda Winger. Hello. Hello. Nice to join okay. you again. Nice to, have, nice to see you. Scan and any healing tension between the shoulder blades and tingling and some numbness in feet at times. And I've got this, what we were just talking about, about concerns in... You know, I've just done your cards and I got freedom. And I thought I'm not. I'm not saying that I'll shuffle them again. And I got freedom again, so it must be freedom. <laughs> so uh, you've got the keys to. But what's the problem you've got? She's got something at her tailbone, pinching the nerve. Yeah. She's a thick oh. nerve feet. Mm -hmm. I have more issues than I realized. I think. <laughs> tailbone is you, where your crisscross is. It's where your inner child is. Yeah. So you, it might be worth doing some. Pairs on your inner child. Okay. Yeah. So, well, in this, case, in, hmm? in this case, it's um, it's a person, Benjamin. So he's attracted to your inner child. Might be the energy. <laughs> Might be the childhood energy. 
Benjamin. Benjamin. Benjamin Hoover. Benjamin died in 
with Jillian Spooner here. Thank you, Ronnie. I see you there. Hi. Hi. Um, can you scan my lungs, please? Scan who? My lungs. Your lungs? I thought you said my mum. <laughs> my my hearing is really off. I'll sense it. I'll sense me, Lynn, anyway. Thanks. You've got some weird stuff going on in your lungs. Yeah, about six weeks. You've got objects in your lungs. I avoided it for two weeks. Then my daughters and my partners for two weeks, and then it hit me. So they're about eight weeks with it, but not as bad as me. I see actual things in your lungs, like almost look like bullets. Like pieces of lead in your lungs. They're just hanging there. The weirdest thing. Do they feel heavy? Uh, yeah, and uh, I can feel it uh, like rattling and it makes me really cough. And I've had three lots of antibiotics for it um, over four weeks. And um, this last lot is supposed to be type specific, but it just seems weird. Your card is actually uh, body care, which means take care of your body, which is exactly yeah. what they're asking someone pulling the mucus out of you every now and again Deb you go blurred <laughs> what you go blurred now and again and Rick's still oh okay. yeah because I'm blocked and trying to so you don't see the behind me there's a refrigerator we're storing it <laughs> in, in here it doesn't it matter looks awful so I'm blurring the background all right so can you can you feel someone pulling the mucus out of you I can just feel a, um, a gentle yeah. feeling. That's Mother Mary. She's act I can see her actually pulling the mucus from you. I woke up this morning with um, two frequencies simultaneously, whereas usually I'm only connected to one on the left. Uh, but the one on the right is risen in frequency. It was quite a low, dense frequency this morning. And now the one that is on the left, that seems to be um, not as high as it usually is. You should feel a release of it. I can um, feel like my, my chest does feel a lot lighter. And those, what I saw was lead and like bullets um, have been removed along with a lot of fluid. Yes. Is there anything I can do, Deb, to prevent? I don't even know where it's come from, but it's hit my family members first, even my grandson. Two of my grandsons, actually. How old are they? Um, Harrison's eight. I know Cleese jumped four. They in preschool? Um, Oakley is at preschool. Yeah. But um, Harrison had... Is it regular school? Yes. Yeah, because it seems like it, um, they probably got it at school. Well, they thought nobody else has got it in their classrooms. Really? And, um, Oakley, we thought it got a viral rash and it's something really weird, rare. I think it's two in every 10,000 children. It showed up like um, sepsis or meningitis all down his legs, you know, the bruises. And it broke up again. And then he's, but he had it all in reverse. The infection that they thought had triggered it didn't come out until afterwards. And he was really poorly. He lost about a stone in weight. He was struggling to eat and drink. We need to. We would need to see a picture to see if it was. Um, and I can't. I can't even guess right now. I'm not kidding. No, it's fine. It's just, sorry. Yeah. It has been um, since I'd say the beginning of January. It's been a lot going on, but there's only this that has hit me. Yeah. Other than you know what we would normally do uh, to protect ourselves. 
unless unless we're supposed to experience this you know what i mean unless we ask to experience things like this there's nothing we can do if, if that's part of our contract and i i mean i can't tell you that unless we see a picture of them yeah yeah well it was really weird because even at the hospital within about 15 minutes uh, when they examined him again he'd got a full cellulitis ring around his lower leg around his calf um and it just the full cellulitis looking ring on top i'll have to do it to send it you another day yeah but um yeah, i've been really struggling with the um, my chest yeah because well, normally I, I deal with it myself but um yeah you ended up sending off a sputum test and off uh finding out a type specifically it hasn't worked Touch base with me. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Are you feeling better now? Um, I feel um, my chest doesn't feel as heavy um, at all. It feels light. I just feel, when I as soon as I join this group, I go red hot. <laughs> I mean, my cheeks are burning up, so it's hard to see what's mine and what isn't, because I just. That's part of my job. I just clear up. Yeah. But it's uh, when it sticks and I can't shift it myself. And I know I shouldn't say can't, but sometimes you just have to have some help. Yeah. It, yeah, I think six weeks is long enough. <laughs> yeah. I Personally, I think you're picking it off people, but I can't say exactly how on here. If you understand yeah. what I'm coming from. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Because um, my daughter's had very few. Yeah. I think and it's all to do with Yeah, I think it's to do with that. They haven't had any at all. In fact, they haven't even had a flu. The flu ones that they would try and do at school. Yeah, I, we can't even advise on that on the YouTube. <laughs> no, no, you can't. But everyone has a, you know, free will choice, don't they? Yeah. As long as you're aware and you've weighed up the pros and cons. Yeah. All right. Don't, don't think I've had any for 30 years, actually. There you go. No, I um, even had deep pink off as a child for a long time. Yeah. I had the sugar lump when I was a child. That's because it was a sugar lump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're glowing a bit now. You I look know, better I'm now. Pink picking up Peter as well off everyone yeah but thank you you're welcome thank you you're thank welcome. you for thank you Deb and Rick you're welcome thank you all right Vera Vera hello hi hi guys hello um I just needed help with something in my house and my energy mm -hmm. please so you had somebody laying over or you're hovering above you? It was like a, a vibration, a really strong vibration just on my entire body. Just like, yeah. And, and it then... A negative, it was a negative vibration? Yes. And then when I was trying to get it to remove it, um, it would move away, but it wouldn't get out of my house. And it continued following me through the through the day in my house, through the night. It would be bothering, it would be just pestering me at night. Um, and yeah, it's it's hiding, and my energy is just. Think about it like this: if your energy is low, what sort of spirit beings would you pick up? Attract. You attract low beings. So mm -hmm. you, you've got to try and find a way of lifting this vibration, lifting your vibration. And they might not even see you then because your vibration is too high. The only thing that we haven't removed from your house so far is your brother. Yeah, we keep going back to that. Hmm? He's, phys he's physical, so we can't really remove him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying. Don't, let me tell you, I am trying. I see the being. It changes. So it's it's able to change what it looks like. So right now it's got a pumpkin head. Mm. It sounds like the same one that we've dealt with. No. No. 
because the other one used to change change too yeah well it, it, lots they of all beings. just want to change lots of beings can do it they're shapes. they just want to change all the time where does she where does your brother go hmm? where does he actually go nowhere yeah. he doesn't leave his room he doesn't go nowhere doesn't do anything he needs knee surgery on both knees um he's on disability and he doesn't try to better himself um and i'm trying to get him his own housing but that's a process he's very kind to me when he's around me and he's not rude or anything he doesn't he just yeah and i don't know what he's doing i, I don't know if he is doing drugs or what but i don't know because he doesn't go anywhere so i don't know but i'm gone at work all day can you feel that yes how do you feel? I, I think it's linked to your brother. It could even be a sh linked to his shadow. Uh, so it's going to be near, near enough impossible of just getting rid of it. We can get rid of it and lift, if you lift your vibration, it will. Uh, it's not in the house now, but it could come back. Right. Right. Yeah. So it feels like this. It's, whatever it's, he's it's, doing, it, whatever he's doing or watching or listening to during the day, uh, wherever his mindset is, mm -hmm. is creating. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I feel like, that's why I say, I, like, I'm, I really, I'm trying to get my vibration up. I am exercising, eating better, meditating, doing things, you know, that I know I need to do, but I just feel I get so drained and it's a battle. So in my home, I feel drained. And I know you guys keep helping and helping and helping. And it's just, a circle do you do breath I know, work a lot i was i've really been thinking about breath work a lot this week and i've never done it so um it has really been um i've been, been being told to do it so i'm going to start learning it i've never done it so yeah it's yeah. yeah you can do breath work for each chakra uh-huh yeah so uh and if you ever feel down do something to lift your energy don't just say yeah, I feel. And never say I feel down. If you do, if you if you get into that stage, do something to lift the vibration. Get out of that cycle. Mm -hmm. Because once you start feeling down, you're going to attract low density beings, so, or even the shadow of your brother. Mm -hmm. Quite easy. Mm -hmm. My hip does hurt me though right now. On this on this right side, I don't mm -hmm. know. Is it? Did you work on that just now? Because both of my, actually, both of my sides of my hips are like hurting me right now to my knee. I haven't done any healing. <laughs> oh, I was okay. Doing, uh... I felt like it just moved. Okay. I was just doing energy. I was doing your own. That's what I'm oh, doing. awesome. Right. Might be worth listening to that love video that me and Deb's friends uh, created. Start loving yourself more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say yeah. it. Say it. Do some mantras on that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. And, and never say oh, I feel really drained today, because then you're manifesting even more drainage. Right. Yeah. I just said it to you, so you'd know. <laughs> yeah, but by saying that, you're making it worse. Well, so how do I tell you then? They just, you, I don't you, know sign you got language. You got to change your mindset. <laughs> um, well, I'll learn sign language, and then I can. Mindset, Same. no, your mindset. I feel good now. I don't feel drained. I feel really good. That's, that's, what, I'm I'm, that's what I'm asking the universe. Mm. I'm the best. Mm -hmm. I'm the best I could ever be. So. Yes. And I am. Uh, your card is trust the messages. <laughs> Here you go. Like the breathe work. Yeah, breath work. Breath work. Breath work. Breath work, not yeah. breathe work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sound sound healing is good as well. Oh, you're so funny. It, it, it's a shame. You, it's a shame you didn't live in the UK and go up the road for three hours. Sound and healing and breath work for eight pounds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but in America, in America, is it five hundred? <laughs> yes. Wow. Eight, eight pounds. And that's okay. only a donation. You don't even have to donate. Wow. So. Gotta move out there. Mm. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You're Thank welcome, you, Clark. 
But that was a, that was my trust. They said trust my trust my yeah my heart. Trust trust. Trust yeah. the message. Yeah. Trust okay. that. Trust the message you get. Trust the right right right. Yeah. I know. Okay. I was staying, never going to fear in low density thoughts. And okay. Like that. Get rid of that Got mindset. It. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. welcome. Any yeah. blessings? Have a good day. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Okay, who is Samsung SM59? Oh, Libby, I think. I changed my name to Libby. My <laughs> Zoom, my Zoom uh, connections are messed up because I was scammed and I had to get my phone wiped. But I do you see my name on the list now? Yeah, I Did do. I, okay, yeah. I corrected it myself. Yay. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Yeah. Thank you. So you need a scan? Yes, please. My lower back uh, is is debilitating. I borrowed money from the bank. I bought a new bed. My other one was 40 years old. There's no explanation for my pain. And I realized it was time to call y'all and maybe have an attachment removed. It's the lower back where when you give birth, labor pains. It's hard to walk. You do have an attachment. You do have a person there. Yeah. And you know what? Can you look into the look into your camera again? Look at her left eye. Look at her left eye. Yeah. Yep. Mm. What do you see? You've got an somebody, you've an got eye? somebody there. <laughs> you've got what? You've got somebody there in your eye too. What it's do you know? Good, it's not a good vibration either. Yeah. Especially, it's attached to your soul. It's linked to your soul, so it's taking your energy as well. Yep. <clears throat> you got a lot going on. Sit back and relax for a minute, honey. All right. Thank you. This is why I've got my spiritual gangster jumper on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read my it? There? My huh? back's <laughs> killing me. Your back must be really hurting you because it's hurting me. Taking yes, the energy. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's debilitating. I'm dragging something around with me. Well, this this man is um very talkative. I'm surprised you haven't heard him. Partially deaf. What's his name? George Henry Wadsworth. I am George Henry Wadsworth. What does he want? He's too scared to pass on because he's very dark. That's why I'm gay. Mercy. He's using your energy as uh, his life force energy. He's asking me, what What the hell do you want? Go to the light of the Holy Creator and leave me. Do not return. The dogs are barking. should feel this energy now, Libby. Beginning to feel lighter. Wow. Wow. I just lost a thousand pounds. I love you so much. I love you. Yes. I can breathe again. I'm using a new energy tonight. Just on you. Oh. I'm using the emerald energy. There you go. The emerald order energy from the divine. Oh, wonderful. You have no idea how full of love I feel now. I got myself back again. He did this last time for me six months ago. Oh, yes. Yay. Oh. Your card was miracles. Miracles, so, yay! Yeah. Thank so you. If you want to clear, and if you if you ever have a problem, just ask a source. Yeah, that's like uh, the mobile to source. <laughs> yeah. I have been. I have been. Yeah. I, I lost my connection. It was cut. No, you just had somebody in your eye. That's all. It wasn't cut. Yeah, lower way. back pain is gone. Like giving birth, is that was that another attachment? Yes. Yeah. Who was that? What do they want? Were they that dead? Was, that was the that was the guy I told you. That was. Um, the guy. I live less than half a mile from a hospice, 
a building and people die all day long and I pray every time the ambulance comes and picks up bodies because I look straight out onto it. It's not a good place. I've been looking for another apartment. I've been here 18 years and it's a it's a problem. It, they can they can come anytime. Yeah, but yeah, I can really it doesn't, it doesn't they see my light and they come running. But, but, <laughs> But Libby, Rick used to bring them home from the grocery store. Okay. Yes. They, I, I they, understand they go. That. They go back. They go back to places they're they're used to going. It's not where they died. That you're that, that it's where they go back to their familiar places. Their home. Their relatives. Their friends. They don't go. They don't. They don't automatically go from that, that place. You know, it's 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 where they're familiar with. They wander. They wander around for a while and then they choose somebody. It's not like, you know, you know he, could, right. he could have passed on three months ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. Sometimes they jump from person to person. Yes, I understand that. Am I clear now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh my God bless him. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> my card is here. Okay, got it. Bye. Very cool. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Libby. Thank you so much. <sighs> okay. Margaret. Margaret. Coming up. Hello. Hi. Oh, there she is. How are you? Oh, I've been better, but I'm doing good. <laughs> Let's see, did you write down, let's see, oh, asking for any removal of any heart walls, I have so many attract, so, so I may attract healthy relationships in my life, any programs that are attached to overeating and starvation, thank you. Okay. Be before I start, your card was music, so if you want any grounding, uh, listen to frequency music, good frequency music, spiritual music. I listen to music all the time. Music. <laughs> huh? I used to be a DJ, so that's my <laughs> way of getting out of my head. <laughs> Excellent. You're way too hard on yourself. This is coming from Jesus. Oh, you're so hard on yourself, daughter. You're so hard on yourself, sister. Mm -mm. I can't be, yes. <laughs> not know how gorgeous and beautiful you are just shine 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 you shine never ever feel that you are anything less than what the beautiful woman you are never believe that you 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 talk look in the mirror you should talk to yourself the way i am talking to you now you are beautiful you are perfect the way you are never okay ever believe anything less never his, he, his heart is so full of love for you. If I could only make you feel this way, and he's actually sending you this love bomb to your heart, and I hope you can feel it because he is he is so truly cannot believe that you feel so, so little of yourself that other people see you so differently, Margaret, so differently than what you see yourself. Uh, I blame the abuse I went through, so yeah. So never believe it of other people who think negatively of you because they want to break it off. So they are going to speak to you differently because they no longer want you in their lives. Now it makes sense. I dealt with a lot of alcoholics. Mm. Well, see, that's because they they are ne they they hate themselves for what they are. So they they reflect it on you. So great. Right. And of course, you know, I'm from an, my mother's family. It was Irish. <laughs> I mean, most of them were alcoholics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big drinkers. So, you know, I understand. I get it. And it seemed like, you know, you get attracted to them because of the, you know, you go to the pubs, you have fun, and you're, you're loud and you're boisterous, and they're great people, but they destroy themselves with alcohol. Yes. So oh. it's a double edged sword. It's okay. Don't believe 
the lies. That's what okay. he's saying to you. Don't believe the lies. Okay. And he's he's sending you this healing to your heart to heal because you are so much more than what you think you are. <laughs> okay. And you are. You really, really are. Don't ever. There is somebody for everyone. That I do believe, yes. <laughs> that you should know. Can we have another card for her? I've just uh, I've tweaked your Kashik records a little bit for what you signed up to, so you might have a change. So. Okay. I'll just get in trouble again. I was getting in trouble. <laughs> there you go. I'll do it. Divine timing. Say you... stop. Say stop. Divine timing. That's how you... you the divine was just talking through you, innit? Stop. You need a break. You need a break from your journey. Yes. Retreat. Definitely need a break. And divine timing. Uh, I think that was what. Uh, it's basi- going to be okay. Basically, your prayers are being answered by universal law. Okay. Uh, so, see the change. It's going to be okay. It'd be, it'd be subtle, but you'll notice. Mm-hmm. So let's we'll just send you some great energy for your heart. Okay. Father says, trust, trust all of your messages. Trust all your messages. Trust all your messages. Okay. Okay. He says, say it three times. <laughs> All right, I can do that. He said your instincts are working. Okay. Even though you think they're not, they are. <laughs> okay. Yes. I, I do have a little bit of self doubt there. <laughs> well, that's because you weren't listening to them before. So. True. My <laughs> dogs are helping me get out of that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I finished then. How are you feeling? Oh, much better. Good. Good. All right. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. V- V-I-D-Y-A. Hi. 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 Is it Vidya? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What can we do for you today? I let the scan healing. Do you want some healing as well while while we're scanning? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Something going on with your stomach. Do you have something going on with your stomach? Um, I have a um, kind of a um, you know, easily upset stomach. You have a tear in your stomach. What's that called? Uh, uh, a cord? Tear, is it? It, it? That's what I thought you just said. What did you say? Cord. Cord? Energy cord. Oh, right. Okay. Just feel these energies any, any second now. So energy just got released off. You, you feel different. You feel different? Um, you have um, energy going through you. Something got removed. I feel a bit of contraction in my stomach. Yeah. Something was removed from your stomach. Some energy it was what's not for your eyes good. Uh, was it an entity? I don't know, but I got it now. <laughs> it could be a it could be a spiritual parasite, but I'll get rid of them anyway. It's not a problem. Oh well, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Do you feel better? Yes, please. Thank yeah. you. Because you have energy going through your whole body right now. It, everyone that's uh, had healing today, your the energy stays with you for a week. It stays in continuous healing for seven days, and then it just gets absorbed in. Drink a lot of water this week. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your, your card, by the way, if you wanted an oracle card, is you just need a break from your journey. Need to slow down a bit and just have a calm, like an holiday or something. Goodness, Victoria, 
talked through this whole thing today. It keeps coming up in this conversation. <laughs> Do you have shoulder pain as well? Yes, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm just shifting. Is something going? Hmm? I have pain everywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm just shifting it now. It's coming over to me. I don't know what you believe in, but you've got... I'm picking up. You've got a soul connection to the Mayans. So, ancient times. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. I can see it, actually. It's quite interesting. The pyramids and Mayan times. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. Kirsty's oh. phone. Jackie? <sighs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Jackie. Hello. Hello. Hello, can I have a, can I have a scan, please? Sure. <laughs> Any, uh, there's throat in your neck. Do you have any neck pain? <laughs> yeah, I do, but, uh, also, um, it seems to be my head. The back of the head? Yeah. Well, all of my head, my, my head, my head won't clear. I don't know what it is causing it. How long have you had that? Nearly two years. Yeah. I will try and, you might feel changes any second do you feel the energies yeah i can feel anything clearing off you not yet and also like my right foot is numb what's numb sorry my right foot i don't know why we do yeah <laughs> yeah you feel any different slightly yeah the healing is carrying on for several days, by the way. Okay, will this, will this go eventually? Should. You drink a lot of water. This is going to have to be flushed out. Um, you had a tracker in your foot. Yeah. Sorry? You had a tracker device in your foot. Really? When you it's had... Spiritual, it's a spiritual a thing. spiritual tracker. Um, when you had the the um thing the thing that you got a couple of years ago that we I talked know, yeah. about um that actually gives you implants and they they like to track people so that actually gives you spiritual trackers as well um and implants these cords and stuff in your head which can cause headaches and it causes a lot of other things that go wrong um, very painful so um it is what happens is we have to remove the cords and and the we we do as much as we can um and then it's up to the healing continues for the next seven days but we we, we ask you to drink a lot of water so that it continues and, and bless your water um picture the word love in your water and and your food everybody should be doing that so that you're drinking love you're drinking so you're blessing your body you're blessing your your food and everything that you put in your body so you're continuing this loving spirituality and and uh continuing to take the toxins out of your body because like when i close my eyes like funny things seem to happen yeah well, that's what, I, what i would do as well have cilantro uh cal cal coriander have, have that raw just have it in leaf form, if you can. It takes metals oh, yeah. out. Yeah, it takes metals out of the body. And that is factual. Before yeah. I get thinking Cor about coriander, coriander. Coriander. Which is cilantro. Coriander there. Yeah. yeah, it takes metals out of your body. You, you, you get it from the supermarket. It's uh, pretty uh -huh. yeah. yeah, we call it cilantro in, in the United States. In fact, States. give me a second. Give me a second. It's in salsa. Like if you like salsa, they, they put it in salsa. Will is, will I get better? You should. Because the doctor tried to tell me it was anxiety. No, it's not. Yeah, 
There you go. I've never oh, yeah. had anxiety in my life. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Hmm. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> can Can you see Philip? Yeah. Yeah. Coriander. From Tesco's. I'm advertising Tesco's. I don't shop there, honestly. So will I will I need any more healing? I think you do actually. We need a lot of detoxing. Yeah. How can I? Can I? Can I? I don't sleep very well at night. On my Facebook today, uh, tonight, I put a detox little chart. I try and detox as much as you can. So where will that be? Is that be? I'll be on my Facebook. Which you got is... my Facebook. No. How did you find us? Oh, I did find you on Facebook, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just mess P PM me if you want, and I'll send you a detox thing. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. I just want to get better. Mm. We want you to get better too. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, Jackie. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, uh, your guardian angels behind you. So. Yeah. You won't be able to see him. But you got an angel saying he's You have, you have he's a lot of you have a lot of angels. Yeah. But he's saying he's helping. So oh, it's helping. So am I gonna be okay? Yeah. You are. Yeah. You just need more Thanks. work on your body. Okay. So okay. Can I contact you privately or You can do. Yeah. What Is part that just Is she near you in the UK? Sorry? Where are, are you, you in the UK? Oh, I live in Norfolk. No. No. It's East Anglia, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Flatland. Near Caister. That's the only place oh, I know. That's where my husband was brought up. <laughs> I, I went on a soul weekend there when I was younger. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. yeah. I actually, yeah. I, I actually injured my leg there on a pyramid when I, in my younger days, <laughs> about 30, 40 years ago. So can I? Do I contact you? How do on, I contact you? On Facebook. On Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome. Might be Thank worth. You. It might. It might be worth watching it because there's not that many left. I don't think because I'll do a sound healing at the end. And that sound healing. Yeah. Might I'm help. Well, I was going to keep watching anyway. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Gabrielle. Gabrielle Reed. She's there. There she is. You're muted. Pretend she's not. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I am doing pretty good. I just moved to Henderson, Kentucky. And whoa, <laughs> you yeah. left Illinois. Mm -hmm. And mom is like staying in a hotel right now, trying to get her disability earlier. She's on, on like a homeless program, so she's staying in like a hotel. So, hotel like, where? Um, in Urbana, in where? In w Illinois, yeah, where we were staying. Yep. So, oh, you are? That's nice. Where are you at? Uh, Somerset. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Maybe we could Late do something summer. this summer. Yeah. So, um, I just moved in, getting settled, getting used to the new dynamic, um, and looking for a new job. I wanted to know if you guys could just scan my new house and me and see what you pick up. I did start my lady time today, so I'm a little crampy, more than usual, but. Are you still in relation? What's that? Yes. You, yes. Yeah. 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 I, so, I, said, I said about your soulmate last time. Didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So Good. We ended up moving in together. Yep. What do you need me to do? I was, I mean, I've got brain fog. Um, 
Can you do like some? I've got some arthritis Put, stuff. Go. Okay. Remember, stress creates shock. So ground yourself more. Yeah. Okay. And that's why you card was nature. You need to get into nature and ground more, and then you won't get the stress that feeds the arthritis. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And I will. You want the house clear? Yes, please. Do you want do you want my doming dragon or do you want an emerald dragon? <laughs> I want the best of the best, whatever it is. I give them both. I've, I'm literally wearing an emerald though, so that is kind of vibing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. He's doing it. <laughs> I'll do it. I can feel the energy on me, but I can feel it more moving the energy around the house, which is nice. That's the dragon. Yeah, like the fire breath. It's like these uh, emerald dragons haven't been on Earth for thousand, probably hundred thousand years. I really haven't. I have a message that um, please remember that you're only responsible for your journey. You're not responsible for anyone else's journey, but your own. No guilt. No guilt about anyone else's journey. You cannot control or be responsible for anyone else but you. Yeah. Not your parents, okay. not, and not your siblings, not anyone else's. Yeah. How's the arthritis? Is that gone? Yeah, it feels like an ice pack on my joints, actually. Um, and you what you were saying, it, it was you apropos. Remember, it'll come back if you don't de-stress yourself. Got it. Stress is is you're overthinking things. You're over, and if you've got people saying things to you to make you feel guilty, you need to stop it. Stop them from putting guilt on you. There's no reason for it. You you're not responsible. Yeah. I don't know if this is happening. I'm just I'm just telling you the messages I'm getting. Yeah, it's it's hitting home because like I felt that way the whole you know leaving mom and stuff and like okay but like everything got like you rolled the dice and everything just got scrambled you know where i was staying wasn't where i wanted to be it wasn't the cleanest you're an, you're an, adult, you're an adult yeah you are responsible for you you've got to live your life yeah but i've been in it's yeah it's a transition i've been in caregiver mode so long it's like you know, it's it's different. <laughs> like, you're not supposed to be a caregiver. She's not, she's fully capable of taking care of herself. Mm -hmm. She was employed. Mm -hmm. She has to take care of her. You have to take care of you. Yeah. And, and, and honestly, you have to have a life. It's time for yeah. you to live a life. Yeah. <laughs> it's a transition too, because like in this relationship, like I'm realizing a lot of stuff, like. All right, we have to talk about this or you know these are certain ways we want to do things or just finding my own voice and like okay i really feel strongly about this like you know this needs to be talked about like like so those things i haven't really had before because it was like so you know codependent with mom so but yeah i'm excited i think it's a good growth period for mom she's slowly like getting more independent and stuff and getting it's herself so I know it's, it's I left my car I had my car died on me like I had my last week at work and my car died like I couldn't even finish my shift I'm like well I'm done I'm done and I'm gonna use this time to pack and it was like a whole bunch of obstacles trying to figure out how to get the car working I worked on my car for the first time like a whole bunch of birds <laughs> like I put a belt on and it was like what the heck couldn't get the car down here but it's like a process babe's like alright we're gonna go get it and you <laughs> what was that I don't know <laughs> hello 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 <laughs> maybe somebody accidentally hit oh. their button or something what happened I deleted any more of that, I delete. Okay. Okay. Good. Thanks. But yeah. So, new things, new adventures. I'm so glad to see you guys. So. Good. It's good to see you too, honey. 
I feel much better to well, like, trust the messages I'm getting for you, and and that it's really important when I get channel messages that you trust those. Yes, uh, I need to hear that, and thank you. You're should like be, should feel better now. Yeah, but you should They're feel good like, anyway. I think yeah. I think I think what's happening is your stress is because everything's sorting out, and you're trying to get ground yourself because you feel relaxed and everything and it's creating the arthritis pain you see go in the woods go in the woods or something like that yeah yeah that makes sense i was literally i was like we need i need to go to park or something because like when i go outside there's like people yelling and, uh, and i'm like uh but there's a park not far from here i'm like i could just walk over there i might yeah. do that okay great thank you, thank you. love you guys you love you Okay, Radha, Radha, am I saying your name? I'm probably butchering it. I'm sorry if I say it wrong. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and are, you in are you in Australia? Yeah, my name's actually Mia. Yeah. Mia. Okay. <laughs> Mia. Yeah. <laughs> It's help on block emotional blocks. Oh, yeah, just is, and also like it's Mia. <laughs> Mia, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the last thing you said on here. I didn't read it. <laughs> okay, um, it's just uh, yeah, like me and my son are really connected, and he's going through a lot of hard time lately. So. <clears throat> He's on, he's 11 and he's autistic, so just, yeah. I do a lot of healing and a lot of helping him, and it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's Very a lot sometimes. Yeah. That Jesus here. He says you beat yourself up. You don't have anything to feel guilty about. Sometimes you sit at night and your wheels turn and you think and you think and you overanalyze, over, overanalyze, and you beat yourself up a lot. Yeah, probably. He says that he, he would oh, like to have you do breath, breath work or breathe, take in deep breaths through your nose and out through your mouth and release the day instead and let it go. Yeah. You just go and sit in gratitude. Because you do so much, and it, it, it just be grateful. This is an experience that you're doing a great job. You're doing the best that you can with the, with the, it, within your abilities. Let it go. When you lay down, you rest. It's time for you to rest. Rest, rest your mind, rest your body. He wants you to feel love and satisfaction that you got through this day and that you've done everything into the best of your abilities and let it go. Don't think that you didn't. Don't think that you're incapable, that you didn't do enough. He wants you to know that you did do enough. Let the day go. He says you're a superwoman. You're perfect. Nobody's judging you but you. Everybody is looking at you and saying how wonderful you are. Your angelics, your guides, creator, they're all, we're all looking at you, cheering you on because you are incredible. Uh, think anything less about yourself. Yeah. Did you feel that energy, by the way? Yeah. yeah. Your card was uh, divine guidance, which means you are universal or your, your prayers are being answered. Yeah. Uh, energy's come out of your back. You must have a bad back somewhere. And... Also, yeah. you've got you've got a lot in here. It needs to be. I've removed a lot of it anyway. You just yeah. got to find ways of grounding it. Breathwork and grounding is excellent and meditation. Yeah. They even pain here. Yeah. That's strange. Yeah. Let's give you a bit more. This is a very high vibrational energy. You should feel this. How do you feel? Yeah, way better. Yeah, what I've been told, just do a lot of positive mantras about yourself, start loving yourself and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got anything else, Steph? Mm. 
Yeah, a lot more positive. Doing positive mantras. Connect with nature. Yeah. Ground yourself. That will bring yourself up. Yeah. And I am Bob. Just... Okay. Have you got anything, Deb? I told her everything I got on. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Lucinda? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. I want to heal your attraction to um, go ahead. and tortured souls. Yes. It's been a lifelong thing. I want to uh, heal and caregive and um, in the process I wear myself down. They get a lot of healing, I feel like, but... Your cat is really cute. It sounds like we have a lot of kids who have jumped onto our Zoom. Yeah. Where's it coming from? It's okay, I'm in, in control. They just... I, I can take, take anyone out, I feel like. You've got a... You've got a support team. The support team is saying that you can always ask them, you know. And you'll say I do, but you don't often. Yeah. Bye. 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 I, uh, I know. I know that I have them. I, I feel them. Um, I ask them, but I feel torn between. I'm a powerful spiritual being here, and I should know what my job is, and then yeah. carry me through my day. I waffle. The, f- the thing is, you're here with them. You chose them. That team you chose to help you get help you through this. Yeah. Uh, oh. I've got I've got two teams, and one of them is my protector, but he's, he can also work with me. Uh, I didn't even know that till like a uh, medium told me. Yeah. I didn't know that either. Yeah. There you go. Which way you went, though. I got bumped off. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I got bumped off for a second. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> right. I heard you say I can work with them. We had to protect. Yeah. It was left. You, you brought me here to work with you. You're I the conductor. You're like you're like That's the conductor. Help. You're like the conductor. They're the instruments. They're the music I love instruments. That. Yeah. I love that idea because I I don't want to be a burden. Yeah. Um is my deal I think and then yet I'm willing to allow my healing energy to help other people burden me I don't know if that's quite right but yeah I just I feel like I don't want to be a burden and so yeah. maybe I now that I know that I can utilize that in a yeah. healthier way okay. don't let them in I feel like I just want some discernment Sorry, it's the same people trying to get in with a different name. No, no, I'm sorry. Same I name. Understand. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, no, just carry on. Uh, I, I'm in control with all this. I, uh, yeah, I, um, I, I appreciate knowing that. Yeah. Um, as a young child, I felt like everybody had the ability to feel everybody's energy. That was just natural until I was in about second grade, and then people started. Uh, pointing out that you know I was a freak or whatever and not that I felt like a freak but it did uh, cause me to dim my vocalness and uh, throughout my time here I have had several relationships where they have experienced um, healing from me and then it takes me a couple years to recover and they've all passed on through disease or uh, injury. And um, then it takes me time to regroup, if that mm. makes sense. Yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. One, one thing I've learned though, if you've got being, people around you that are low vibration, <laughs> and you, you sometimes you think, I'll help them up, but remember, they can help you go down. So sometimes it's not even worth being around them. You know, some people are right, not, you, you can't help. I... Yeah, you can't help everyone because sometimes these big people will put, push you down. And you're trying to push them up. Yeah. 
Right. So I guess that's what I'm asking for is that a discernment between those people who um, are going to bring me up because in the beginning, the chemis chemistry is there, the vibration and attraction is there. Um, and then slowly their true vibration, I feel like, gets shown. And then that's when, for some reason, I can't cut them off. And I want to find that discernment. I, I want to find that ability I had as a child to recognize, ooh, I don't want that energy. I don't want that vibration. Um, so that's the healing well, I'm asking for, I guess. We can heal you, but also your team. That's your team. It's your team that's probably given you a lot of the uh, intuition. So just connect with him more. Yeah. Yeah. I connect with mine near enough every day. I wanted to tidy my house once and I'm not good at tidying so I connected to one of my team who went into me and I became a bit, I had feminine energy, I tidied up. <laughs> but I tidied up till half past five in the morning. I actually tidied eight hours tidying up and I had no sleep and I had to go to work. So it, 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 it's, it, can, it's good to actually connect with them like that. Yeah. So okay. that's, what I, that's what I did. Probably the wrong way of doing it, but there you go. <laughs> you gotta try sometimes. I get it. I get it though. As long as I know that I'm not a burden when I'm asking them. Your team is there for you, and you're you are the one who who basically picked them. Yeah, you pick your team. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the energy is going off your shoulders now. It's like some that's just mm -hmm. been lifted off. And remember, somewhere else. But you've been their team in the past. That's what I've been told. You've yeah. helped them while they've had, wow. while they've been uh, in physical. Wow. How do you feel? Lighter and thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> That's your team telling you drink some water get rid of all the energy sometimes <laughs> the healing what the healing does it vibrates every cell in the body and any negativity in that cell is shaking out and it's in your field or inside you got to drink the water to get rid of it yeah. do I have a card oh you had one card I'll give you two uh, what, what was the one I oh, didn't I didn't hear it I must probably got bumped off you did then. your support team <laughs> support what? oh here we go uh, it wasn't a it was a message from the card you support team you forgot about that didn't you <laughs> okay, they keep sending me numbers you know all this 919 and 616 and it used to be 222 and 333 and now I've got and I'm like okay fine but I can ask Google a hundred times I need you to tell me so now I'm going to demand be clearer <laughs> mm, exactly uh, meditation so, oh. if you ever, if your mind's ever fuzzy, calm it down with the angels. Do a bit of meditation. Yeah, you probably don't do a lot, do you? Thank you. You don't do a lot of meditation. I'm just tell. I do. You do more than. I do. <laughs> I, I try. I I, yeah. I, I try, and yeah. uh, and I have a my brain goes 500 miles an hour. I used to be really good at it years ago. Uh, I need to, that's the one thing I want to try to, healing this part of me since this last relationship. Um, so yeah, I it might, it might be worth, that. might be worth selecting certain meditation music. Yeah. Healing music, art chakra music. Like guided. Yeah. yeah. Have you got anything? I do yeah. sound healing. Yeah. That's good. Hey, do you, have you got your own sound healing bowls? Yeah. Yes. Put some. Yeah, this is. I thought I was the only one who could do this, but my friend Jake said this is what they do in Tibet, and I thought I thought I had a new a new ability, but no. Put some uh, fresh water, spring water, or natural water, in the sound healing bowl. Play it. Send healing. Send your intentions into the actual actual stick, and then drink it. Ah. So you're getting the sound healing Ooh, and you yeah, yeah it's a good it's a good one though, isn't it <laughs> yeah 
I thought, I thought, I, I actually thought I was, I was original. I thought I was got some information from the uh, the Morian healer, and all of a sudden I was tell, I mentioned it to Jake, who who's one who talk, who did me right it, and he said uh, he do that in Tibet. And I think, in fact, in Tibet, what they do with the copper ones, you actually stand inside and you play on the outside, and that'd be cool, wouldn't it? But uh, imagine a copper bowl that oh. <laughs> fits a person. That'd be too dear. That's that big. That'd be expensive for it. <laughs> I decorated a whole room. Yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome. I decorated a whole room in my house. I call my Zen den just to hold my bowl. Uh, wow. Excellent. See. He gave me that, it was broke, but I've, I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, it's for me sound dealing. Yeah. I, put, I, I put actually a piece of metal inside taps, and actually, I did some engineering on it. I'm, not, I'm tight, I don't want to pay, pay for it. Oh. <laughs> right, thank you. Is there anything else, Deb? I think that's it, isn't it? That one? Yeah, probably more. Elaine? Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hi. I'm still having the same problems. My blood pressure, doing funny things, and digestive issues, and kidney pain. Okay, I'll do some. Elaine, I feel like my, the energy was sucked from my body as soon as I, as soon as I um, saw you. Do you feel like you have no energy? Yes. <laughs> So every time that we do healing, is there any improvement at all? Um, yes, for a while. So somewhere along the line, you go go back. Do you, do you, are you better now when you were last time we did healing, or do you just go back to the same state? Um, well, again, when I eat something fatty and salty, it makes my blood pressure go do crazy things. And if I can abstain from eating those two things, which is kind of hard, then I do better. I do better. And they've changed my thyroid medication, but I don't know how that fits in there. You know, it's those three things that I kind of juggle. And I'm having a stress test on Thursday to see if there's anything going on with my heart. But do you live at the doctor's office? I have lately. <laughs> now they put me on... <laughs> When I told them I had kidney pain, they told me it was my back, so now I'm getting physical therapy, which is helping strengthen my body, but it doesn't restore the energy. <laughs> but I am able to do more than I was, and more active. Honestly, I, I, I could lay down and, and sleep for a week right now. I feel so tired. Yeah, that's the way I feel. I was outside working in the yard, for a little while, a couple hours, and I came in because I was tired. And then you, you and that was one o'clock when you guys started lives, your Zoom, so I stayed in. But it's not that it's kind of the, tired. It's just it's not from, Yeah, it's, it's not that, it's, it's not that kind of tired. It's not from working in the yard. It's actually like something sucking the energy out of me. I wouldn't be surprised. I used to have a person that lived next door that was um, on parole. He was real badass. And I feel like when he came around, that that's when I started having problems. So is there any kind of an attachment because of that, because of him? Interesting. He's no longer living there. But a friend Which of his might be. I'm sorry? A friend of his might be, though. Yeah, he might have left he, but I was just thinking, what did he leave behind? Right. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying it's something that's there that's actually, it's not inside of you, it's on the outside, sucking it from the outside, and it's it's not inside of you. Or it's something that comes in, takes, and then runs out, so I can't see it. So it's, it's I can feel it, I can feel the energy, but I haven't found it. Do I need to sage my house? No, you're, it's not, sage isn't going to stop this. <laughs> no, no, Phil's going to stop this. It's not sage. <laughs> <laughs> it is not sage. They, they, they laugh at sage. 
They don't like frankincense, they don't, but sage doesn't bother them. I may have some liquid frankincense. Start but wearing this perfume. It just... Uh. Deb, have you locked this, by the way, from anyone coming in? Because someone's just messaged me saying it's locked. Yes, it's locked to keep out those little do, annoying do, do you want to uh, just unlock it? Yeah. Someone fell out. His phone died. Just unlock it. I'm stopping them anyway. It's unlocked. Okay. I'd like to find out who those little darlings are. <laughs> I keep coming in. Uh, Should I let me? Yeah. It could be um, coming through someone that's on here's Wi-Fi. Well, they have to get the... I don't know how they do it, but they, they can do they it. They have to have the link for the... Right. The Zoom. I had that happen to me. Somebody was it had attached themselves to my computer and was coming in on other people's Zoom calls. Yeah. We had one once and it was uh, people sending in porn. That was an experience. We had to close the old lot and restart it all. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. You get a cheap fill out of being daft. Yeah. Can you feel the energies lifting? I do. Um, I could feel my body relax when you first started. It's like I had the heaviness is leaving. Who's living next door now? Because they must feel this awfulness. Because they, 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 it's... Well, the same people. He was uh, an uncle. It's still, oh, it's a really dark energy. It is. He, he was a real character. No, he wouldn't even realize it. Well, whatever was attached to him was making him do all kinds of bad things. I have to say he left something behind. I'm sure he did. <clears throat> Better. Summit, we, we, my team's shifted summit, so... Might be that, unless it's hiding, it's daylight, but there's something been shifted from next door, actually. So. Good. Yeah, the, the house is, Yom's been cleansed. Right, uh, I, I finished. Oh, uh, Harmony. Harmony? E yeah, E-card, I forgot about that. Okay. So, the angel's saying, just let all the troubles go bring harmony to yourself I know that's going to be it that's difficult that's what the card says so it's basically saying that you can help yourself as well yeah. I'll work on that thank you yeah you're welcome alright okay thank you uh, you're welcome Sunil is he here he is but he's on mute but I'm not going to say <laughs> mute there you go. Gotcha. Thank you, Philip. You're welcome. Okay. So I removed, I've Check moved, your removed. eyes, your body for implants and anything more? I, 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 I'm just wondering because I've removed a lot and I just want to check in. You look What's better. You look better. Yes. You look yeah. a lot better. Yeah. yeah. Your color's good. You look younger. <laughs> That's <you> go. good. <laughs> That's good. We do a lot of, lots of uh, work on uh, Reiki and stuff like that. So, yeah. what do you feel? It's good. Just be careful the symbols on Reiki. That doesn't mean it's bad. Not, no, no, it's not me who's doing it. I've got a, I've got a woman who's been doing it. Is she doing it well? Yeah, I, I believe so because she's the one who helped me uh, walk. That's good. Excellent. But I'm not quite there yet. What, yeah. what, what is the root cause of me not being able to walk? No. Can I ask you? It's probably a mindset. Okay change your mindset you will walk you so just what said it, yeah, I'm not quite walking walk. yet hmm? okay just keep saying I'm, I'm gonna walk yeah okay. but, I will but, walk not I'm gonna I will walk I will walk, I will walk. I will walk. I just, am walking yeah I'm walking I and it. lift your vibration up if your vibration was that high you, you, it come naturally then it heal itself so uh, breath work I mean a breath work mood today uh, breath work and a lot of meditation, a lot of uh, mantras about how, how you're loving yourself. Love yourself. It sounds you, like... You know how to do all this. Yeah. You're, you're the expert. You're the expert. <laughs> I wish I was, Philip. You know, I I was. You, you really are. 
You know how yeah. to do all this. I'm getting these messages. He knows how to do this. Yeah. It comes but why do natural. I feel so, so disconnected from it? Because you've just said that. Oh, you just said okay. that. Okay, I'm connected. <laughs> all right. All right. Nobody's disconnected. No one. We're yeah. never disconnected, ever. Oh, unless There's we. Nothing we can do to be disconnected. Unless we say, I feel like we d- I'm disconnected. Then I'm disconnected. <laughs> so just do breath work? My, and, and mindset. And, and a lot of mantras are loving yourself. Love yourself. yourself more. Forgive yourself. Oh. Yeah. I've been yeah. doing that. How close am I to forgiving myself? I mean, you forgive yourself more. <laughs> right, right. And believe it. You have to believe it. You can say it all you want, but you have to truly believe it. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Never thought this could stay in your heart. It's it's not up here. It's in the heart. Exactly. Get out of here. Mm. This is the ego. Yeah. This is the computer. This is your mo. It's below your art. Well, including your art chakra and all the other chakras. There, there. The, the it, like your your root chakra is is everything. If you get what I mean. Your art chakras. Your mo- all these are the important ones. These are where you think from. He's where you make all the decisions from. So what what can I do to some damage was done to my right leg, my right foot? How could how could I what can I do to repair all that? It's healed. See hmm? it healed. See it. Yeah. Believe it. Okay. Alright. I'll do some healing anyway. In fact, let's do it. I'll, I'll let you know your card after. That card's coming up today. Your card, by the way, is freedom. Don't look at the women on top. <laughs> mm, okay. See, it's freedom. Right. <laughs> I wish I had. I wish I had that. <laughs> okay. So where you go? Manifest the freedom. You feel trapped in a prison. Mm. You've got the keys inside you to release that prison to let it go. That's the ego, isn't it? That's the ego. Yeah. Yeah. Ego's okay. We all got ego. It's it's how you work with it. Embrace it, but don't let it control you. Let your heart and all the other chakras below that work on that. So uh, what are you thinking? To... Okay. How, how would you? Re... Oh, just see your body healed. I would say do what we've just said, and then think about other questions because you keep on doing one question after another sure. question. Sure, sure. Stepping yes. stones. It's a, it's. You're climbing sure. a ladder. You, you need to sort out the ones we're saying at the moment. But you yeah, look sure. miles better. Think about oh, it. I, look, I am a beautiful being. I look brilliant now. I'm getting younger. You are. I am now doing a lot more than what I was doing. Yeah. Keep on doing it. That's it. And the, the the person that's doing the Reiki healing, dare I say, it's doing a good job. <laughs> mm-hmm. My ego would say no. Only but, I'm the perfect. No, no. But... <laughs> I've been doing a lot of. Work. I've been doing a lot of stuff actually. That's yeah. just one of the. We, we, a lot of stuff. We, we help you on your Body path. Ball, so, so, so as well. yes. Yeah, we, me looking at you, me and Deb and Rick have helped you on this path, and you look miles yes. better. So what you're doing cool. at the moment is great. Carry on, yeah. Okay. And, and this Ray Keel is doing well. Yeah, I'm, being, a body I'm being told I've she's also, doing well. So. I've yeah. also got a, a guy called who's, who's body calls what I'm as well every uh, week. Mm. There's some body calls in the body. Right. And he's just really good. Yeah. Sending you some healing anyway. S- Sunil, mm-hmm. you should be relaxed taking the healing. Yeah? yeah. Am I right, Deb? You should yeah, be just sat down. Back. Relax and don't think of anything except the healing. Yeah. <laughs> have you finished, Deb? I have, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you feeling, Sunil? I can't tell. Um, probably lighter. When you have healing, yeah, you should mm-hmm. be doing nothing. You should be thinking clear thoughts no thoughts and accepting the healing when you start doing something when you start asking questions and thinking it you're blocking the healing because it's it becomes a blockage a partial blockage but it starts blocking the healing coming in so what you should be doing is just relax in a meditation state and accept it all 
Am I right there, Dev? I am. Yes, you are. Mm. You'd be right. breathing it in, accepting it. Breath work, accepting everything. Yep. All the energies. Yeah. And you can channel that energies to like your feet if you can't walk. Right. All right. Jillian, I, I know that you're next, but um, Nadira is here. And you did not put, she, she's never been to our, our free ones and probably didn't know to put her name in the chat pane. So I'm going to, knowing that Jillian likes to be the last one. Yeah, could, um, Ronnie, but, Ronnie might want one as well. I would. Right. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go to Nadira, then we'll go to Ronnie, and then we'll go to Jillian. Nice. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. He's joking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I came in late, so I never, um, I didn't really know what it's all about. But um, recently, I was like totally burnt out from work, and I was doing a lot of work on myself. So I was just wondering if you scan and see where I'm at. Sure. And yeah, thank you. I, I did an oracle card just then, uh, and it's healing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're doing healing on mm -hmm. yourself, try not focus on anything else. If you want healing, and you're mm -hmm. doing self-healing, if you focus, if you've got stuff in your head thinking about it, it can stop the healing going through. So you've got to clear your mind a bit. So. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll send you some healing. You're doing a really, really good job. You look really good. Um, I do see, do you have, uh, are your feet your heels bothering you to be like your the bottom the back of your feet bothering you um occasionally anything from the hips the knees to the yeah. ankles yeah that was my next <laughs> my <laughs> next question was your hips and your knees but it seemed like they the father brought me to your feet the um the, the heels of your feet in particular yes. okay mm -hmm. Do you ever have a problem with your wrist? One of them. It's some energy no, just it, it, came over from it. Yeah. Yeah. The right one. Yeah, it just uh, came no. over to me. She's got yeah. a, got um mm -hmm. you've got an attachment in your lower back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like she's got an implant. Mm -hmm. I don't. Huh. Next, it's actually really close to the attachment. It's a, a, a muscle. Should be able to feel the energies going in there. Do you work in a religious hospital? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. This person's really a religious. Did that lost soul just go then? Yeah, uh, she was a former nun. I wonder if she was a religious. Bernadette Peterson. I got a nun, but not a good nun. <laughs> <laughs> if you get what well, I mean. <laughs> yeah. That's why I saw, she, I that's saw a soul shoot out of you. She was, um, yeah, she left. Did you, um, do you see the, um, the implant? Phil, did you see yeah, it? Yeah, I've got rid of it. I'm getting some shoulder pain also. Do you feel better? Your back feel better? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that the spine feels a little bit different. Yeah. The shoulder pain is probably the right side. It's the right the, side. The sh your shoulder pain's going now because it's coming over to me. Oh. It's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very. It's easy. No, it's easy to get rid of it. If it goes over to me, it's, it can't anchor into my energy field. It's different energies. So I just ground mm -hmm. it at the end of the healing. It's the easiest way to heal someone, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I didn't expect it that time. Even the neck, neck, shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the energy taken, and we replace it with good energy then. Yeah, that's the healing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we've took mm -hmm. the energy out. Now, so. mm -hmm. Uh, 
How are you feeling? And the heels definitely feel diff- um, better. So probably there was something there which I wasn't really feeling. Well. And the, yeah, the shoulder feels lighter. It's just a, the going down the spine to the right hip still yeah. has a bit of pain. I've, mm. I've, I've given you another card, study. So find other spiritual path, if you get what I mean. Find other modalities, I suppose, you know. Mm-hmm. Look for new skills mm-hmm. to grow your journey. That's it. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you probably got one in mind as well. Huh? You've probably got one. You've been thinking about it probably for a few years. It's like my sound healing bowl. I, I was thinking about doing that five years ago. And I finally got a bowl mm-hmm. last year. <laughs> started, started doing it. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I got the uh, I got two. I got a new one last year, yeah. and um, so I'm gonna try the water thing that you mentioned earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I got that message. I got my bowl out to do it, and there was a dead moth in it. And I was thinking, I better clean these bowls. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. You'll, you'll continue. You'll continue to heal for the next seven days. So. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, the skills I was thinking about. Two things is um, counseling. I help people who've been through traumas, and um, the other is using the colors and the, the colors and the therapeutic touch. Yeah. As a combination for healing. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, the, the, well, the colours of frequency as well, and also the uh, the crown chakra. All oh, the chakras are different colours and they're yeah. different frequencies and different colours. So, uh, mm-hmm. what people don't realise is what you eat feeds the chakra for that colour. People don't realise that. So, yeah, yeah. so if you eat a green, it's feeding your heart chakra. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. green. Well, I got some strawberries and blueberries here. <laughs> So a communication <laughs> and loot <lucha. laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah. okay, well, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank it's you. It's so good to see you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. This is a pleasure being here. You look really good. You look good. Good energy, oh, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So Ronnie. Yes, can you hear me? No. Yes, loud and clear. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's going on with your eye? Which one? The left one. No, no. I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night. I don't know. Possibly. Just tired. Do you have contacts in? No. Okay. I'm not getting a cataract or something. Um, I know you get a scan and uh, abundance blocks and spiritual vision. See if I got anything. What I've got blocked in there, possibly. And uh, Bill, I wouldn't. I would love to have uh, that dragon do some clearing <laughs> in my house as well. The Emerald Dragon. <laughs> and uh, yeah. a question about something you saw in that eleventh uh, uh, chakra a few weeks ago about yeah. the uh, the palace or whatever it was. If you see any other information on that, I would. I'd be curious to be interested okay. in that one. Did I go in your, your 11 chakra? That's what you know. said. I must have been in the zone. <laughs> so. okay. uh, two people want to enter. Do you think they should enter? No. No. Well, did you, did you boot him? No, they're still there waiting. He's got something in his eye. Like hmm. Sorry. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of energy in your head that's just come out. Forward there. Yeah. I don't know what that yeah, was. I, think it was. I don't know if it was an energy, if it was a person, it was a negative uh, being. Hmm. It was lurking. Looking I've at I've been right in some me. places where I possibly have picked up some yeah. things in the last few weeks. Yeah. Do you, do you know, uh, I think it was last year, I astroed out of my body while I was healing and took an implant out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that got in. That must have gone. 
<laughs> Normally I'm pretty good on them, but it looks I, like I there's something there. It just still looks like there's something. Yeah, there. yeah. But as an energy's come out, can you feel the emerald dragons, by the way? They're coming. I can Brack. feel some stuff around me, yeah. So yeah. I'm, uh, good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. That's something on his spine, too. Do you have any back aches? Mm hmm. I've had some back tension. I think it's an implant. It's a square box almost to the middle of the spine. Well, just to the left of the, the middle spine. Did I get it, or at least part of it? I still have a piece of it. There's another one at the tailbone. We just took out a, a spiritual parasite. Like It looked like an insectoid. Mm. Like a fly insectoid. And that's, that's new on me, that one. They got me. So where, where have you been going? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> 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 He's on a spiritual level, isn't he? You need to check your friends. Uh, yeah. One of the reasons I'd like the house cleared. See if I'm sure I've missed stuff. You've got, you've got some lurkers there at the house. I'm just going to let you know that next. <laughs> yeah. the, the dragon, the emerald dragons are there. Two of them, actually. There's loads coming to her for the moment. And it's an apartment building so I got like three apartments on each side Sorry. it's like right Russian roulette and the, uh, the spirit level <laughs> it's hopefully all good so the old apartment will get cleansed I feel better mm-hmm I do feeling something I was feeling something in front of your face then oh, in front of mine I think they are cleansed to that. Like, yeah. Like. Have you finished, Dev? How are you feel? Feeling wrong? I, I was. Um, I saw. I saw a great picture of the image of the dragons. They're like partly crystal. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like a, a torch going through a green crystal. <laughs> it's, it's nice, mm -hmm. really nice. Uh, your card is playfulness, so you, you've got a fair bit of fun on your journey. Good, but not the fun that you get insecticides with. You. <laughs> oh good. I think the insecticides. I, I got a remote viewing of a uh, like a like a, a partly fly, partly human. So. Must be mm. Yeah, it's not the type of beans I like to see. Yeah, I don't know. I think I have light coming from my armpits, though. It's weird. Out the announcements. Is it gone? It's been it's infiltrated. It's been sorted. Yeah. Wow. Well, now that they, they, they were they were trying to because I think what the energies we've been using have been trying to get in. So it's out. But we do thank you so much for joining us, and uh, it was our honor to do these healings today. And we will see you again next month, April. Have a good rest of your month. We love you. We, we thank all the beings that helped us tonight, and they can now yes. now go. And do you want me to do me sound healing again? Better this time. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Please do. But I'll set the intention of clearing anything that's. Uh, not for our highest good, yeah? Yes, and please ground Bad. yourself again. Yeah. Thank you, Phil.